Alhamdulillah. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. Yesterday evening, I received a request from the head boy of the Islamic International School saying that the students of 10 standards require a session with me and they'd like to ask some queries regarding career guidance. I told them, okay, fine, you can prepare your questions, what are queries you have regarding career guidance. And that's how we have the session of the 10th A and B, the girls and boys of the Islamic National School. So I hope you all have prepared your questions regarding career guidance. See to it that the questions are limited to career guidance only. Any other questions on Islam and comparative religion, anything else on Fiqh Masar can be asked later on. So this session is exclusively regarding career guidance, regarding a future, what you should do after passing school, maybe college, after passing IGCSC, where you should spend your more time. So any information regarding that, we have to spend more time after finishing your school, college, or graduation. So the session is mainly based on that. So inshallah, who would like to ask the first question? Yes, Abdullah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Apart from all these things, Alhamdulillah, it's very excellent. But apart from all these things, if a student wants to pursue some academic career, for example, medicine, engineering, so how should he go about after? Abdullah has the question that if a person wants to pursue other academic fields or streams, like become a doctor or engineer, etc., how could he pursue? After a student passes 10th standard, we leave him at 11th and 12th, at the IGCSC. The IGCSC that we do is the degree which is recognized throughout the world. In any part of the world, this degree, once you pass from IGCSC to a standard, that is A level, it is recognized anywhere throughout the world, not only in India. Whether you go to UK, USA, Gulf country, anywhere in the world, this is recognized. Whereas most of the other certificates that you have, when you pass your 10th or 12th standard, the local board, the state board, or the national board, they are not recognized outside. They are recognized in some parts of the world, but limited countries. But this, inshallah, the degree that you have, you can apply anywhere. You can even apply locally, depending upon the marks you get, depending upon the percentage you get. You can apply anywhere in Bombay, in Maharashtra, in India, as well as abroad, whether the Western countries, whether the Gulf countries. But every country has its own rules and regulations. Like in India, we have a CET, Common Entrance Test. So previously, the marks of 12th standard used to carry weight for getting admission into medical college. When I passed my 12th standard, it was the 12th standard marks which was important. But since the past several years, they've changed the system. It's a Common Entrance Test. So depending upon how well you scored in the common entrance test, it will decipher whether you will get admission into a medical college and the other streams. Most of the other streams yet hold good for what you'll score in the 12th standard, that the IGCC A levels. Depending on that, you have to apply whether it's some other field of, you want to go to commerce, science, arts. So the other colleges that you have, if it's not a professional course like a medicine, so depending on which course you're doing, it will depend whether it's a marks of 12th standard or with the marks of the CT, the common entrance test. Hope the answer is good. Any girls have any questions? The girls don't want to take up a career. Any other questions from the boys? Yes, Michael. Just mentioned that, uh, inshallah, we'll have period in Islamic studies also. And you said that we have scope in studying in Medina University or outside universities. Uh, like my interest or if someone wants to specialize in suppose hadith or fiqh 
and only in Arabic. So I think Medina University is appropriate. So how should I go about it? Or what should be done? Will there be any scope or will we be sent there from you? Faisal asked a question that someone wants to specialize in Arabic and Hadith or Fiqh. We may not have a scope here, so if you want to come in, how do we go about it? As far as the rules and regulation is concerned, that Medina University is one of the best universities that I would recommend for anyone to go for Islamic studies. And in Medina University, as far as my knowledge goes, the seats in the Medina University, approximately 80%, are dedicated only for the foreigners. And Saudi government has a quota. So many seats for India, whether 25, 30 per year, so many seats for so many countries, and so many seats for Western countries, they have a quota. Based on that, they do take interviews. So all those people apply, they have some rules and regulations. That person applying should minimum have passed a standard or should be alim from a normal madrasa, any of the madrasas. And he should be of an age of less than 25. There are some criteria. I don't know the minute details, but there are criteria. Your age should be less than so-and-so. You should either get an alim degree or above that from a madrasa or should be twice standard pass from other countries. In India, mainly, they take people who alim. But in the other countries, in the Western countries, the minimum qualification is twice standard or A-level. Now, once you pass that, if you go to Medina University, if an alim who has passed from madrasa and he knows basic Arabic, he may go direct into the graduation of the Medina University. Then you have an option of selecting whether BA in Hadith, whether BA in Sharia, that's Fiqh, or BA in Tafsir. Depending upon which course you select, the periods keep on differing. But if a person who doesn't know Arabic and wants to join this course, then there is a two-year course called as Certificate for Arabic. So a person who's coming from Western country, or from India, who does not know Arabic, then they have to undergo the two years course. And from that, they can enter the bachelor's in BA, in Islamic studies, specialized whether in Hadith, whether in Fiqh, whether in Loga, Arabic Loga, depending what you want. And then after that, there is master's, called a magistrate, which is for three years. And after that, there is PhD, depending upon the marks you get. But in India, as far as my knowledge goes, they only take people from other side. But other countries outside Western countries, they take people who have passed the 12th standard. But alhamdulillah, as far as our school is concerned, our Arabic level that is there in school is very high. So there won't be any problem for our students, mashallah, entering directly into the BA. So your question that, how do we get in? But natural, if Allah wills, but natural, do require certain recommendation. And if any student wants to go from our side, inshallah, I'll be the person who recommend, inshallah. So there are high possibilities. But at the same time, what I would like to do, I would like to create an atmosphere which is similar to Medina here. It's my intention, whether Allah fulfills or not, Allah alam, intention is there. And then later on, adding more to it, at present, if you ask me which is the best, one of the best universities to go is Medina for a foreigner. Fine, even the Imam Saud University, Imam Saud, that is there, not an Imam University in Riyadh, that is also, that's supposed to be better, but they take very few foreigners. It's more for the locals. Even that's the big university. So as far as the foreigners are concerned, Madhya University there, then you have Ummul Quran, Makkah. My intention is to facilitate and see to it that we get the best teachers from abroad, so that we ourselves have such a university. And along with what is there, we will add on to it, maybe media, maybe public speaking, you know, there are many occasions where I've been called in Madhya University, as well as Umbul Quran, and many other universities of the world, to give a course of dawah training. But due to the busy schedule, it's difficult. It's very difficult that I should spend about 30 days there or 25 days. So what I felt, that there's something like practical. So as far as knowledge is concerned, it's very good. But the practical is speaking to non-Muslims, if you're doing dawah. You may not find the practical facility which you'll find here. So one is practical, so that's the reason, inshallah, what we feel, that we ourselves will, inshallah, when time passes, if Allah supports us, Allah wills, we'll have out here. If that is there, I personally would prefer my son staying here than going there. My son. And you're also my son. But if that doesn't happen, and Allah doesn't facilitate till the time, the time has gone, then I would prefer them going to maybe Islamic University of Medina, or Imam Saud University. I feel Imam Saud University has a slightly better rating than the Medina University. But the chances of getting in Imam Saud is more difficult than getting in the Medina University. But Alhamdulillah, both are very good. And even in Mulkura is good. 
So will this be after 10th or 12th? After 12th. They don't take after 10th. If you don't become an alim from a normal madrasa, minimum you should pass a 12th standard. That is the A-levels. That is the IGCC 12th standard. Only if you're qualified, then do you qualify to enter there. And normally they don't take people from non-madrasas, as far as my knowledge goes, from India. But inshallah, because the Arabic of a school is very good, mashallah, and our students can speak fluent Arabic, so they mainly based on interviews. And I'm sure that our students will fare very well as far as interviews are concerned, but they have limited seats. And inshallah, with whatever little bit, little bit of contact that I have in the university, I think it should be easy, inshallah. Hope that answers the question. Any girls have any questions? Before you ask a question, regarding girls going to Saudi Arabia, I don't know of any seats for the girls in Madinah University, but there is for the Ummul Qura. So if girls want to go to Saudi Arabia, the option among the universities is Ummul Qura. But they see to it that there is a mehram who comes along with her, whether the brother, whether the husband, whether they can study together in Ummul Qura, whether they can get a job. So facilitate that we follow the Islamic aspect also, whether the person gets a job there, or he works in the university, all studies together. So all these options looking into it. Even there are foreign students who are girls, who are females who do come to Umul Qura. So Umul Qura has a special only lady section also. Yes, sister. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, after the 10th standard, will the students be free to make a choice? Or will there be any criteria for the same? Are you talking in this school or outside? Uh, in this school. As far as the school is concerned, mashallah, Normally, when you appear for the 10th standard IGCC, there are various options you have. The options given IGCC are umpteen. I haven't counted more than 50, 100 subjects you can choose. Surely more than 50. It may be more than that. In this, you know, you have various options. Out of that, in IGCC, by rule, you have to pass in five subjects. If you pass in five subjects, you get the certificate you have passed your 10th standard IGCC. That's the O levels. Now, you have option of appearing for any number of subjects. But if you appear for less than five, you don't get the certificate. But you have option of appearing in six, seven, eight, nine, as many subjects as you want. So most of the schools in India, what they do, they appear for six or seven subjects. Most of the schools, six or seven. But they give a variety of at least maybe 15 subjects to choose from. Some schools give out of 10, you select six or seven. Some give out of eight, you select six or seven. Some give 12, options are there. Many things is there, music is there, good, halal, good, bad, ugly, everything is there. Music, dancing, this, that. There are a variety of subjects. Now, in our school, what I felt for the first year, at least this year, our students will appear for nine subjects, not six or seven, for nine subjects. And the nine that we have selected, as you may be aware, English is compulsory. We have no option. In the others, we have option. We have selected English, we have selected maths, we have selected physics, chemistry, biology. All three are separate. It's not one subject. Like, if you go to 10th standard, etc., in the other schools, science is one subject. In IGCSC, physics is one subject, biology and chemistry, so three separate subjects. So as I mentioned, first is English, second is maths, third is physics, fourth is chemistry, fifth is biology. Besides that, we have ICT. For the first year, it will be computers, because previously we were taking computers. But ICT and computers are somewhat similar, majority. But ICT has got more practicals, we have more knowledge about other equipment, like mobiles and other technology, so it is far better practically. So that is the reason from next year it will be ICT. This year, we will be having computers. So sixth is ICT and computers. The seventh is business studies. Eighth is Arabic language, and ninth is Islamic studies. Now you have to pass in five only, but English is compulsory. That does not mean you concentrate only on English and four other subjects. You concern all, we want you to excel well. And when you appear for an examination, there are two times in a year where you can appear. You can either appear in October and November, and you can appear in May and June. So these two are the times the examination takes place. And it's not necessary you have to appear for all nine subjects together. You can appear for four subjects in October, November, five subjects in May and June. Or two subjects October, November, seven subjects in May and June. Or you can appear May and June first and then October and November. Choice is yours. Or all nine together. So based on that, inshallah, next year, we'll be well prepared. We may select two or three subjects in advance, maybe which are more well versed in Arabic, maybe Islamic studies, maybe one more ICD or business studies, two or three, in 
October, November, and the balance five or six would be in May and June. But this year, because we have just learned the new technique about the IGCAC, this year, inshallah, I feel that online subjects will be appearing in May and June. But the advantage you have that you'll have two more months. Normally, you have examination in March and April, or in April, correct? So you will have examination in May and June. So you have one and a half month more as compared to the other students. So this year you'll be appearing for your 10th standard. And based on that, once you pass the 10th standard, you have option of joining any other school. Because you'll get a degree from Cambridge, UK. So you can do your 11th standard in any other college, depending upon your marks. Any college in Bombay, whether you're on Xavier, Jai Hind, you have an option. Any college outside Bombay in India, any college even outside India. Now, once you get that certificate, the IGCSC, you can even take admission into any school or any college in Europe, in UK, in USA, in Canada, depending upon your marks. It is an internationally recognized certificate. Though what we teach in Islamic studies will be far superior, this portion would be less, would be different. So therefore, for us to train you to score marks in the Islamic study is different, because the Islamic study is not like the one that is based on Quran and Sahih Hadith. There is a mixture of everything, something of different views, so you should know that view also. So the option that you have is that you can do 11th standard in IS option and continue with what options we have got. These options are there now, nine are there. Or join any other school outside IS in Bombay, in India outside Bombay, or outside India, option is yours. But we haven't taken the Cambridge degree. Most of the schools that are there in India, the reason they take this IGCC degree is once you pass, most of the parents want their children to go abroad. IGCC has a level. They may go, they may not go, that's different, but the desire is more than 75% of the students opting for IGCC is to study higher studies in USA or UK. My reason to opt for IGCC is not that at all. I don't want any of my child to go abroad. Fine, if it's for Madina University, then it's a good cause. But if someone wants to go, they have the option. I won't stop them. But the reason we have taken this is that no one says, oh, this IAS, oh, it's a local degree of Bombay or of Maharashtra or of India. IAS degree from Cambridge University on international level to show that our student, besides having Islamic knowledge, besides being Dai, besides being knowing Arabic, they are at par with the international standard. Because the two degrees which are very well known throughout the world, one is the IB International Baccalaureate, the second is the IGCC, and then you have the American board also. So these three are the very well known internationally, and they're accepted everywhere in the world. So the reason we have chosen IGCC is not so that our students go abroad, but if they want, they can go. No one will stop them. But the reason is to show to the world that once we get a certificate, it's that par with the international standards. So hope that answers the question. Any boys have any questions? Even the teachers like to ask, they can ask. So that they can give more guidance to the children after. Yes, Rehan. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as uh, Like uh, you said that we had five different streams after 12th. So do we, in our school, in our college, do we have arts, commerce, and science in the future or something? Uh, Rehan has asked that, do you have arts, commerce, and science in these five streams? Apart from this five stream. What I told you the five streams is after 12th standard. The five streams I spoke about is after 12th standard, it is not before 12th standard. What I spoke about BMM, or whether it be BA in Islamic studies, or whether it be BA of Dawa, BA is again after bachelor's. That's much after that. After bachelor's is BA. So these are after 12th standard, what I've told you. In 12th standard, but natural, there'll be three streams. There'll be three streams, arts, commerce, and science. And most of the things that I spoke about in the five mainly deals with arts. But a person of science also can jump into any of these streams because when we compare arts, commerce, and science, from science you can go to any other stream, but from arts you can't go to science. If you finish your 12th standard arts, you can't jump into science BSc. But if you have done 12th standard science, you can jump into BA arts. Commerce also most of the time can take from commerce you can go into arts. So inshallah, we'll be having these three streams. But again, in these three streams, there are various options. There are multiple options. We won't be giving all the options. 
will be those options which are focused more towards the five streams we are thinking about, as well as maybe medicine and engineering. So person who takes the science stream, I have intention to start an Islamic medical college also, inshallah. And whether I do it or whether you do it, I don't know. I can't do it, inshallah, you'll do it. Right or wrong? Yes or no? So if I cannot do it, I want the students of IS to do it, whether it be IS of Bombay or Chennai or other parts of the world. So everything is not possible in the short span of life that you have. But the dream is there. That these are the first five streams we are starting. Inshallah, then we would like to have streams of medicine, inshallah, medical college, inshallah, engineering college, and even the other streams, so that we have true Muslims in all the streams, inshallah. Up in a cell away from his family Is there a father in this world who would not defend Justice and rights till the very end Where are your jobs with its security?